Welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we invite you to join our family on day one of our Disney cruise vacation on the Disney Dream. The day that you board the ship is known as Embarkation Day, and we will be sharing the check-in and boarding process, as well as a full room tour of our veranda stateroom. We're also sharing a walking tour of the ship and a fun sailing away party on the top deck as we sailed away from Miami. Our kids were really excited to explore the Oceaneers Club, and we were able to join them during the open house tour. Finally, we're sharing a full overview of our first dinner at the Royal Palace. If you're new to our channel, thanks for joining us. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back to share in our family adventures. We hope you enjoy coming along with us. Now, before your cruise departure day, be sure to complete the online check-in process. During this time, you'll select a port arrival time that aligns with your travel plans. For most sailings, the cruise terminal opens at 11 a.m. Our port arrival time was 12.15, and we were able to take a shuttle from our rental car agency to the Terminal C and check our bags when we arrived. They were calling groups by port arrival time, so we waited for our 1215 group to be called, and then we went inside to go through security and check-in. This process took about 30 minutes for us, and then we waited in a holding area for them to call our boarding group number. Our total time through this process was about one and a half hours. You excited? <laughs> Here we go. It's actually happening. <laughs> Emma's a little excited. There it is. Hi Cabanas right away after getting on the ship. These guys are hungry. Cabanas. Whoa. How's the pizza, Henry? Great. This is one thing they advise. We have kids are all hungry, so we went to Cabanas right away, but. Cast member warned us, like, go get a table first because they fill up right away. It worked out. All right, we're going to give you a, a tour of our, of our room here on the 10th floor, 10136. You use your key to the world card that's here up on your fish, and you can use that to get into your room. And I'm going to give you a full, full tour of our room. And you can use your key to the world card to put in the slot here to turn your, your cabin lights on. So put that in. You've got your temperature control up here as well. And here we've got a couple of, of doors to the left. It's, you know, it's tight quarters in here and your kind of closet space over here. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through everything. So in here, there's two sets of closet doors. And these open up and you've got some storage space little ladder and lots of hangers, and then your life vests up above. So that's one closet number one behind closet number two. More storage space, more life vests, hangers, laundry bag, and your room safe. So lots of, lots, they try to really maximize the storage because you know, you know, <laughs> not a lot of space in here. Here's the kind of the visual of the ship where we are. So. We are back here in the aft, back in the back of the ship. All right, on the first door to the left, as you come into the room, you have the toilet room, it's a bathroom area. So this is just the sink and the toilet. And you've got, of course, your 
a little bit of storage, some hangers up here, a little bit of a little tiny shelf, some more shelves over here. Hello. <laughs> some more shelves here to put your things, a little wash bowl and this H2O plus hand soap and the trash bin down here and Kleenex. Very nice. It's small. It's definitely small, but they have two rooms. So this is the kind of the toilet room. And then right next to it, we have the shower room. So the shower room also has like a little vanity sink. And then this, the, it is a tub shower. So it's a tiny little tub. Oh, I like the Mickey towels. Those are awesome. And they've got a handle over here to the side. And we've got the H2O Plus beauty products, body wash, shampoo and conditioner. A little extender there so you can hang up your kind of a clothesline. Here they've got a removable shower head. And your controls down here, a little soap little soap dish holder. Then you have, similar to the other room, a couple of, couple of shelves here on the left. You've got a makeup towel, regular towels, and some body lotion. And then over here we have a, a facial, facial soap bar. And then the Kleenex and the trash bin. I really like the Mickey towels with the cruise logo. That's awesome. I love that. There is also a full length mirror on the inside of the on the restroom door. That's nice too. There's another glimpse inside the room. Hello. All right. Okay. So then to show you a kind of a tour through the rest of the room. We have drawers over here. These pull out. Just nice, nice storage there. And they're the they're the soft clothes drawers. We've got a set of four glasses. And then some additional storage shelving up here up above. If you do have a connecting cabin, there would be your connecting door. And here's the bed. Lots of pillows. Got a couple of lamp fixtures. Oh, we've got a couple of hooks up here on the wall to hang things up. Tiny little storage area on either side of the bed. This is just a little drawer. See you. And this is the, the buttons for the lamps. And see that lights up with the little hidden Mickeys. I love that. <laughs> and kind of the globe, oh, it's like a, it's a map of all the ships around the world. Oh, that's really cool. That's yeah, really neat. And they have light, they do have lights on both sides of the bed. And then kind of a nice, you know, nautical themed blanket. Everything's, you know, blue and stripes, very nautical theming in here. I like the art on the wall and the curtains. You can kind of pull this unlatch this curtain so you can have some privacy between the two areas if you'd like. You've got these two buttons over here. That turns on that lamp so you can kind of see a view of both the lamps. And you've got your room phone here as well and another little drawer. Next to the bed there's another little trash can there. And you've got your, your room television. More storage up here. Here's your remote for the TV, a mirror, another cabinet space, lots of storage areas in the full, kind of the desk area, but lots of shelving and drawers here as well. So hair dryer in here. We also have place your heated styling tools on this protective mat. It's nice. So it's a, a heat protector. There's more storage. Yep, lots of storage. We've got this little little shelf under here, kind of hiding. Oh, lots of stationery and stuff in there. Very cool. So this is our just your important phone numbers. This is your this is your morning room service list. So each morning, like the night before, actually, you can fill this out and put this on your, the outside of your door. And it says it needs to be before 3 a.m. basically, and they will come and pick it up. And then you select a delivery time, and room service is included with your stay just make sure you you provide a tip um, but yeah before 3 a.m you can fill this out and put it on the outside of your door and they'll provide you with continental breakfast items in the morning at the at your selected time also have some cute postcards in here look at this i love it and there's a place at castaway key i know that they have a post office there you can you can mail these out really fun that's awesome and we've got some cruise line stationery and a pin i love that that's kind of here in that little hidden desk area. Next to it, we have 
the mini fridge. I'll show you that. It's little. Got a little bit of space in the door. No freezer space, just 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 the the refrigerated area. That's nice. You could fit a couple, quite a few water bo water bottles in there, and some drinks. And if you if you if you enjoy wine or beer, you can bring two bottles of wine per person on the cruise. And I believe you can bring you can bring bottles of beer as well. Got some additional switches over here. So we've got some plugs, switches that just turns on the lights on and off here in the desk area. And a hairdryer outlet and some additional plugs. All right, and here's the last last bit of the room. So they have a little coffee table and then this this couch that actually folds into a bed. And so we'll show you later during turn down service in the evening out of the ceiling here, they will bring down a bed. Uh, so that's kind of a bunk bed situation. So this, this actually folds into a bed and then the top level will have a bed as well. So our kids can have bunk beds right here. Really nice. And there's their kids out on the balcony. <laughs> Hi guys. We'll show you the view of the balcony. Oh, there's a really cool light fixture up here with more hidden Mickeys. Yep, and we got your curtains, pretty curtains, and your lock fixtures to open and close the balcony. And we'll give you, give you a look at what it looks like from the 10th, from the 10th deck of the ship. But there's a, another look at our room, very small, but it's super cute and cozy. I really like it. This is going to be so much fun. We are so excited for our first cruise. I love that it says, you know, welcome aboard, Ronsick family. <laughs> it's got your on-demand Disney t on the television. You can watch TV. And it has your daily navigator and information on the TV as well. All right. And the kids are out here on the balcony. What do you guys think? It's this amazing. is so cool. Look at this view. Oh, my goodness. So we are still at we are still at port here in Miami. You can see the the city. Oh my goodness! And there's Miami. And this is so cool. Are you guys so excited? Yeah. <laughs> it's about two o'clock, and then our sail away party will be around four thirty. So we're excited. We're going to show you guys, bring you guys along with us on every every step of the way. <laughs> this is such a cute little patio. I like the chairs, they've got the, the Mickey Cruise symbol on them as well. <laughs> and I know if you have adjoining cabins, they'll bring down these these veranda walls as well, so you can open up the space between you and your you know, your friends or family, which is really nice too. This is a great view up here. This is like so much water. If you are new to Disney cruising, one of the fun things that a lot of people do is decorate their doors. So we printed out some fun Disney cruise decorations and put magnet strips on the back to put those on our door. So fun. All right, we made it to open house at the Oceaneers Club. Cool, so I already come in. One of my favorite movies is playing, The First New Groove. Maybe I want to come in here. Oh, here's that cool interactive floor. One of the games I can play. Cool. How cool! This is the animation room. You can tr you can trace trace some animations. That's so cool. And they've got the lights up on the wall too, so you can do tracings. That's so cool. Oh, I love all the sculptures and the art too. This is so cool. Oh, you can pick out which ones you want to do. There's a lot to choose from. This is right up your alley, Miss Emma. We well, hear lots of seating. We got some movie playing right now. Really cool. The living pictures are so cool. Another art area, so this one has markers. The other side had tracing stuff. So she just announced they're gonna do a special floor game. Get ready, little froggies. Catch them fast! Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, 
create a lot of uh, bugs. <laughs> All right, so we checked out the lab and now we're in the club. Awesome, Star Wars. It's from the Millennium Falcon. Super cool. Oh, and Henry's gonna, Henry wants to drive. This is where you can fly the Millennium Falcon. This is very similar to Star Tours from what I've seen. That's cool because the kids can handle the steering wheel and make it go into hyperspace. And it's just all about finding the buttons. <laughs> Doesn't matter what they do, he just wants to push the buttons. Push all the buttons. No, you can't just push all the buttons. <laughs> So there's another interactive floor, so there's one on each side for the, the lab and the club. All right now they have some hula hoops here. Super cool, so they have like the Star Wars section, Pixie Hollow. Uh, over here, there's Disney Infinity section. And then Andy's room. This is Andy's room. You can sit in a giant RC, slinky dog, got a big TV where they play Disney movies. There's Rex. Oh, and you can meet Woody right now. I better go let the kids know that. It's a cool little room. This is Pixie Hollow, another cool themed room. So they have a drawing station here, lots of room to draw, or you can just sit and watch some Disney movies. This is the Disney Infinity Room. So I believe later on when they're open, they'll have controllers in here where you can play games. It's like a video game area. Oh, it's just what we thought. This is just a really cool space. Really lots of room. I don't know, I think it's, it's bigger than I pictured, really. But lots of different options. If you're a Star Wars fan, Toy Story, or you just want to play some video games, or just sit down and watch some Disney movies. And I think this Interactive 4, they'll come and do a lot of different games with the kids. They'll love that. It's just a really cool space. I'm doing another game here. Kind of like a cakewalk, I think. Oh, I see. Get to the island. Go ahead. Everybody take some of the islands. Yay! Okay, good job, you guys. They also have these interactive tables. Just have lots of different games you can play. You can have fun with that. There's just all sorts of activities in here. You're doing another game on the big light-up floor. All right, so this is the D Lounge. They're doing some Disney trivia. So there's about there's an hour and 15 minutes before we have to do the mustard drill. So this is the activity we're going to do, show you kind of one of the fun things you can do on the ship. So we're doing girls versus boys. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready. They're going down. Going down. The, we're called the, the Jedi Masters. Yes. And I <laughs> Going down. Not a member of the Atlantis team in Atlantis the Lost Empire. Is it A, Audrey? Is it B, Corey? Is it C, Vinny? Or is it D, Dr. Sweet? Is Castaway Creek Lazy River a Typhoon Lagoon? This is, this is the bonus question for the girls. You have to answer. We've got two very different answers. <laughs> We've got my team over here with 2,400 feet and 250 feet. The correct answer is 2,100 feet. So my team over there, we are the winners. I'm going to come over to you. Boom, 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 boom. 
One of the things that's mandatory for all guests on Embarkation Day is attending the muster drill. Your Key to the World card will let you know the location where you will attend your muster drill safety training. Once all guests have arrived from your area, they share the safety training instructions, or some locations have a video, and then it's time for the sail away party. Get ready because it's time to have some real fun! About to leave the end of the port. In just, Miami. Yeah, just made it out to our veranda. You can see oh, some you can see the other cruise ships lots of other cruise ships. Been watching the cruise ships leave today. And there goes the horn again. I like that. Yeah, this is fun. This is probably one of my favorite parts. Just it's such an amazing view of Miami. Miami <laughs> Beach. There's Miami Beach. Oh my goodness. So it's spring break right now. Oh my gosh. And you can tell. That's crazy. Goodness. It's cool. People are waving at us. <laughs> Look at all the people at that beach. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this guy's going fast down here. Bye-bye. This is your public service announcement mm -hmm. that you can bring alcohol aboard the ship. Two, two bottles of two bottles wine per, per, person. per person. Or beer. Or beer. So we brought a bottle of Prosecco, so we're going to pop open some bubbly and mm -hmm. celebrate our sailing away. <laughs> Woo! Woo! All right! You do not want it pouring out because we do not waste. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Sailing away. Woo! <laughs> First cruise, baby. <laughs> Look at that view. Woo! including duck confit, iced lobster and jumbo shrimp, escargot, and breaded and deep fried brie. Second course is soups and salads, French onion soup, a potage from Thiers, farmhouse salad or red wine bosque pear salad, and then bread service includes a French country bread with an olive spread. That's bread out here. Main courses include a pasta dish with buttered lobster, Oven baked salmon royale, crispy roasted duck breast, roasted rack of lamb, and oh wow, a roasted fillet steak. And they also have vegetarian options as well, and then lighter options if you want something a little lighter. This is the baked brie. It comes with an accompaniment. It looks like I have some mandarin oranges and some, some spread over here, preserves to put on there. And Dave got the lobster and shrimp 
appetizer. That's a that's a bite. But still got some nice nice really pretty plating. Dave's on a diet. Yeah. Got some asparagus and some like a little bit of sauce and a little croquette on top. All right, Dave. What do you what do you say about the lobster and shrimp? One to, one to ten. Small, but delicious. <laughs> Small but delicious. It was a tiny bite. <laughs> well, your salad arrived too. That's the pear salad. Cheer, man! Don't be so shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you rate it? One to ten. Eight. An eight? Okay. Okay. And Sarah, you had do you have the soup too? Yeah, I didn't order an appetizer. Oh, okay. Um, I ordered a soup and a salad, and mm -hmm. I had the French onion soup. I give it an eight. It was pretty good. That's very good. Yeah. Now I have a salad, so we'll try this. And this is the which salad is this? This is the farmhouse salad. That looks really good too. I know, oh, fancy, right? Henry, yeah. what do you think of the mac and cheese? One out of ten. Huh? One out of ten. What do you give it? I give it a nine. A nine. That is very good. That's wonderful. And how is how is your French fries? Ten. Oh, good, good, good. All right, Mike. Oh, so you have the French onion soup as well? I do. I have the French onion soup and I have the brie. Uh -huh. And I give them both eights because I ate both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's just the funny one. Yes, I agree. The brie is, is small. It's a nice little appetizer, but it's really tasty. If you like cheese, I think that's a winner for you. Kids, how are you doing down here? Is it good? The girls both, <laughs> both working on their steak. How's that steak? Delicious. Awesome. They did. They made a Mickey shape on your ketchup. That was really cute. And the kids' plates are in the shape of a Mickey with Royal Palace. That's really pretty. All right. So this is your second course. Yeah, this is the Bosque pear salad. So what did you think of that? Um, it was all right. I like the pears a lot and the dressing. The onions were really potent. Potent and onions. If I asked for no onions, I prefer Yeah. It said that they were red onions on there. And I think that they were pickled. But yeah, I noticed that too. Yeah. I think... Maybe some of the other salads will be a better option. And it's also a arugula salad, so then that's going to be more peppery. Yeah. So maybe the other okay. salads are a better option. And you got, you did get the other salad. Right? I did. I got yeah. the farmhouse salad, and it comes with a crostini, and it has the greatest cheese of all time on it because it said it was the goat cheese. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> very good. I also got the French onion soup. And it's, it looks like it's got some nice crostini on here with some cheese. I can't wait to dig in. And they're bringing out the courses very quickly, but they brought out the kids' meals right away so the kids can be eating while we're enjoying our courses. So I have the French onion soup as well. It's really good. I agree. Um, I give it an 8 out of a 10. Really nice, uh, especially since they're mass producing. There's so many tables, so many groups. It's not the best onion soup I've ever had, but it's really, really good. Um, they had a nice crostini in there. The onions were nice and soft, good broth, and not, not like too much cheese. It has a good amount of cheese. So I kind of like going to the cheese dishes tonight, but it's been really good so far. <laughs> I got the filet steak. Uh, it comes with crushed new potatoes with shallots, uh, buttered green beans, and a red wine sauce. And they also come by with the Bernays sauce, which they, they ask if you like that as well. So we're gonna try that. Yep. We got steak over here. We got steak over here. We're from Kansas. <laughs> hey. oh. All right, this is the Salmon Royale. So this has a horseradish crust with saute Swiss chard, truffle cauliflower puree, and white wine Bear Blanc. It's really good. All right. Boys got their Mickey bars. <laughs> yep. It's nice. Happy. Kids' meals come with Mickey bars. Yeah. They are happy kids. Oh, Mara got a Mickey bar too. Yeah. Oh, wait, everybody got a Mickey bar. Did you want apple pie? Uh, you can have both of them. You can have both. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you want to. What do you think of the apple pie? <laughs> How do you rank it out of 10? 10. 10? 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Awesome. So since we are at a French restaurant tonight, this is the creme brulee, the classically prepared creme brulee with a little raspberry and a little, little croquette here. Oh, that looks delicious. Dave got the gâteau, which is, is a coffee dessert with layers of chocolate, coffee, and we even have like a little opera, so it's like a traditional opera cake 
and it's got even has gold leaf on top with the chocolate ganache. That's absolutely beautiful. So, okay, so this is like the strawberry sundae, and um, it's excellent, or as the French would say, a magnifique. Magnifique. Mm -hmm. wow. It looks really good. Yeah, Lots of layers of strawberry. The, the strawberry sauce is amazing. Oh, love it. Nice. We got another another gato over here, upper cake. And they even brought us out some Mickey bars for the adults. Because everybody we're kids at heart too. From Relay Test? Oh yeah. Nice shell on there. Nice, nice custard. So this was the special of the night, the signature dish. The opera gato. Coffee and chocolate. Yes. With a fancy chocolate. I'm eating gold. And that is gold leaf. That's yes. how much the cruise costs. I'm eating gold. <laughs> I just wanted to see you cut into that, all those layers. Oh. Yeah. That's good. good. Just the right amount of coffee. Yep. Good. Nice. Oh, yeah. Dave is happy. It's definitely got the coffee flavor. If you don't like coffee, don't get it. Okay. It's good. <laughs> it's good to know. Good. So I got the creme brulee, very classic preparation of creme brulee. It's good. Um, it had a nice sugar shell on top. Uh, the custard is a little bit thin, um, but, but set, it felt well enough. I don't like it whenever it's too, too watery. Um, not the best creme brulee I've ever had, but, but very good. I guess I think for I think for mass producing this much creme brulee, yeah. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> So we have live music, we've got characters out getting pictures right now. We have Minnie Mouse down here. Mickey Mouse is over here. And Tiana and then Belle is across the way. Look at this. Awesome. It's beautiful. Minnie Mouse looks so pretty. One of the special things about Disney Cruises is the live entertainment. Since we had the early dining rotation at 545, after our dinner, we enjoyed the show at 8 o'clock. On our first night, the show was the Golden Mickeys in the Walt Disney Theater. We weren't allowed to film inside, but we all really enjoyed the show, which included a wonderful arrangement of Disney movie characters and songs from some of our favorite films. So we're getting ready for the Golden Mickeys. This is our first night. So our first show of the night is the Golden Mickeys. So pretty in here. Oh, hidden Mickey's. <gasps> Do you see hidden Mickey's? <gasps> I see hidden Mickey's too. That's awesome. So there's the lower level and there's a balcony level as well. And you can get and you can get popcorn and drinks and treats to get inside, but they do cost extra. Uh, but we're gonna get one of the little popcorn tubs for Henry. Oh look, it's like it's it's Wally and Eve. Uh, Henry has that popcorn. He's a happy boy. So what did you guys think about the Golden Mickeys? It was really, really Did you love it? Yeah. And Henry, what did you get? You got some Golden Confetti Mickeys? They had those come down at the very end of the show. That was really fun. <laughs> did you guys, did you like it? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The Corella. Nice. What was your favorite part, Henry? The guy, the guys that were doing really cool moves. Oh yes. The black uh, cats. The black cats. Yes, I like that too. Uh, I like the Corella part because Corella is my favorite villain. Yes. So we came back to our room after turn down service and what did we find guys? A lobster. <laughs> it's a lobster with sunglasses. <laughs> and we, they give us some little dove chocolates as well. That's a sweet dreams. Mm -hmm. And they do turn down service. And so they turned down our bed to help us get ready for bed. They pulled our curtain in and then look what they did back here. They brought down the bunk beds. So cool. So they use that ladder that's in the closet. And then the one bed comes down from the ceiling and that couch folds into a bed. It is so cute. That is perfect for the kids. Oh, awesome. And all of our luggage arrived while we were away at the shows and dinner. And so now we can just get all settled in to our 
to our little cruise room. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> what do you think of your bunk bed? It's amazing. Yeah, do you feel like you have a lot of, oh yeah, you have a lot of space up there. There's stars like. Oh, there is? There's stars up here. <gasps> there is stars up there. That is really cool. That's awesome, guys. Like constellations. These are good sized little bunk beds too. Awesome. Very cool. Well, say good night, everyone. That was a wonderful end of day one. Good night.